What is going on, comic book community? Welcome back to an episode of Josh's Comics. We're going to go through a big haul today. Between these two books right here and this stack right here. And I have even more you can see down here in the corner for future videos. This is a massive haul, guys. I bought from Pope of Chilitown, Brixton Comics, and of course, 360 Comics. In the last month, I picked up a lot of books from the claim sales. This haul today is going to be a nice size all DC key haul. Some small keys, some big keys, Silver Age, Modern Age, you name it. I picked it up, so stay tuned to find out what I picked up on this next episode of Josh's Comics. Alright guys, so welcome back. You heard that right. Huge key haul. Um, like I said, I'm going to break this video, this video down. Or not this video, but this haul is going to be broken down into three different videos. Um, obviously today this is dropping. And then for the next two Mondays, I'm going to be dropping part two and part three. It's a massive haul. Shout out again to um, 360 Comics. Uh, Bricks and Comics and Pope, or, uh, Pope, Pope of Chili Town. I appreciate you guys. Today's haul is strictly only Bricks and Comics and Pope of Chili Town. The other two videos are going to be 360 Comics. I buy from that guy a lot. You know that in the channel. You can go back to previous videos and watch. Um, and so what I'm going to do is, I, I probably should have, I, I broke it off by value. We're going to go from like the smallest key, work our way up to the biggest ones. But I'll try to remember and let you guys know who I bought what from. And uh, I recommend checking out future claim sales because you guys have great stuff. Starting off, Blue Beetle issue number 4 from, I believe, the Volume 2 or Volume 3 run. It's Jamie, Ray Jamie Reeves' run. And I'm probably going to mispronounce this. But this is the first uh, issue of La Dama. Uh, if I'm pronouncing that right, who ends up being a head of the uh, cartel. And I actually didn't even buy this. Um, Pope of Chili Town, what he does on every claim sale, to the first three people that claim a book, get a free book. Um, and those books, I've had that happen before where I've claimed with him. and I was in one of the first three and I've won a few uh, free books. He has values. He has like a $5, $10, and almost like a $15 book for free. You don't know what you're getting. He randomly chooses one. Um, well, he tells you to pick a number when you get one. So this is actually a free pickup. Uh, moving on, another book that I picked up from Pope of Chili Town. Uh, Batman, issue number 354. Great Hugo Strange cover. And um, this is actually... An early appearance of Dick Grayson as Batman. And I actually think it's his first appearance as Batman, if I'm not mistaken. So in this issue, um, for whatever reasons, uh, Dick takes over the mantle of Batman. And we saw that when he was in the Grant Morris run. Um, but I believe it, it does say an early appearance, but I think it's his first full appearance. So, And you know me, Batman keys. I felt like this was a good, nice little pickup for the collection. Moving on, uh, I picked up this book. I am getting heavily into Superman. Uh, I've been watching Smallville. I know, a bit late. Obviously, that show came out uh, a long time ago, and I never watched it as, when I was growing up. I just finished the whole series in about a month and a half. Ten seasons. Like, it was insane. Love the show. Going back and rewatching it again. And it's really getting me into my Superman keys. And this is something that I saw in one of the episodes, but it never came to fruition. But I think it's going to be a good book for the future. This is Action Comics number 544, Anniversary Edition. 40, 45th Fabulous Year Anniversary. And a great Lex cover, Brainiac on there as well. And this is actually a uh, the first time that Lex's war suit is introduced which would go on to be a big player, I think, in the comics later in the years. Um, I'm willing to think that uh, Lex Armor will show up in the DCU at some point when we get that rolling, if that takes off. 
Um, this is a not uh, as high as a copy grade as I want, but it's still a nice placeholder. Um, I plan on picking up a better copy in the future, but to have this, I thought it was really cool and a great add to the collection. Moving on, this is a book that I've been specking on a little bit. Um, this one has cooled down, but the other one has not. And this is actually All Star Comics, issue number two, from 1999. And you can actually see Hawk Girl up here. So that is the this is the first cameo appearance of the second Hawk Girl, uh, Kenda Saunders, who I'm speculating on because. We know Hot Girl is going to be in the new Superman Legacy movie. It hasn't been announced yet which Hot Girl. And her second, well, her first full appearance, uh, which I do have, I forget the name of the issue. Um, you know, it's just this, I think that's JLS, or JSA, uh, Secret Origins 1, her first full appearance. That's a bit of a pricey book right now. has shot up because of the recent announcements. And like I said, nobody knows for sure which, which Hawk Girl, but we could see her potentially be in there. And I think this is a bit of a spec book. You can find this for about five bucks or so, probably in the dollar bins too. Um, the same thing with, the, uh, with her first full appearance. I highly recommend you go out. And, well, don't take my word for it because I don't want people spending money upset, but I think it's a good safe bet. You can find those in the dollar bins. Go pick them up. So, great ad. Moving on, uh, we have Catwoman, issue number 65. Solely picked this up because it is a, a great a Joker high board cover. It's um, near mint, too. And this sells for, like, a high, like, $12, $15, actually. And this is just Catwoman dressed up or looking like she had the toxin from the Joker. It's a great ad there. Another great uh, Joker pickup. Um, Superman issue number 160. Love the black suit. This is the first Bizarro Joker though. Uh, Joker made a Bizarro version and if we flip him upside down, boom. I, I love this cover. Great pickup. And, uh, again, a lot of these you can tell are from Pope of Chili Town. Pope, actually, if you can see, not easy to put the green sticker indicating price, but up here in the top, he'll put key significance up there. And I appreciate that because I've been to a couple of sales where I'm going through the bins, and if I see a book and I'm thinking, hey, that looks familiar, he'll have some of the key significance on the top letting you know so it's easier for you to pick out the book. Um, another book that I picked up from Pope, surprise, surprise, Justice League. We have some of the original Justice League. Issue number 74, down under the hundreds, that's what I'm talking about. Um, first of all, great Superman cover, fighting Superman. This is actually a nice little key, though. Well, kind of sad key, but um, it's the death of Larry Lance, who is the first husband of the Black Canali, and it's also the death of Black Canali as well. Her, the first black canali, not the, not Diana that we would know, but still nice little Justice League Silver Age pickup there in keys. I'm always looking to add to the Justice League collection. Moving on, we have Batman issue number two sixty one, a hundred pages for only sixty cents. This is not a key, but I love that cover. Uh, of Batman flying right here, and also the part with uh, Bruce Wayne's name sticking out. And you also got, it looks like, Superman down there. Again, 100 pages. I'm always trying to pick some of these up, uh, especially if they show covers of issues that I want in the future. I consider them kind of placeholders. And some of these 80 cents, or some of these 80 pages or 100 pages books, or reprints of classic stories, and can go for quite a bit of money. Um, all right, so moving on, now we're getting to some Brixton comics. Uh, Paul does a phenomenal job. He has a ton of pre-cold horror, if that's your thing. He has a lot of old uh, Silver Age, Golden. I mean, he's got a lot, guys. So moving on, the first book I picked up for him was Detective Comics number 369. This has been on my radar. Some of these books, by the way, if you can see, are lower grade. I'm fine with that. I don't need the highest grade on them. Um... This is actually a nice little key in itself that I I really like and I think might play 
a big part in the DCU going forward. There's a lot of speculation you can make on this. Um, first team up of Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, and Robin, a.k.a. Dick Grayson. As we all know, they would eventually go on to become lovers. Uh, I think, again, their first team up, I think that is a great pickup. And I kind of feel like a must-have for a Batman collector, a Bat family collector, you should have that in your collection. Moving on, he recently got these two books in. Uh, this is a nice book, and it, it goes along with a project I'm working on. Covers featuring the Bat issue, the Bat belt, Bat signal, you name it. Batman issue number 191, uh, the day Batman sold out. So, first of all, you can see up right before Bat Auction, it's uh, in red ink, it says Billy. Is what it is. This isn't something I'm going to probably get graded, so I wasn't worried about. But I love this cover. Batman is selling off. You know, everything has pretty much been sold. It looks like he's the last thing to be sold. Um, the Bat Auction. Love this cover. Love these classic covers that do, like, weird stuff like this. I, I think this is really great. So as soon as Paul had it up, um, I had to buy it from him. Moving on. This is a nice key. Uh, this is actually one you saw in the thumbnail earlier. Um, this is Batman with Robin, the Team Wonder, but this is titled Batman. Issue number 235, great appearance. A great cover. Uh, I love how the cape and the cow and the wire and he's up top. So this is the second appearance of Ra's al Ghul. And this thing, you know, got some wear on it. Uh, probably mid-grade for sure. But great, great second appearance of Ra's al Ghul. I have his first appearance thanks to 360 Comics. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to have this thing. Um, I originally was going to buy this last year as a placeholder until I got my first appearance of him. But obviously it went in order. I got the first appearance. Now we have the second appearance. So I'm really happy to have this. And this thing, again, even in mid-grade, the sell is like $40, $50. Um, but great cover. I, I just, I love that. I love the, I love it. Neil Adam goodness. You can't beat it. And you know me, guys. Batman's always picking up. Uh, hey, surprise, surprise. We got more Batman. Going back to Pope of Chili Town, uh, I picked up uh, Batman issue number 186. Surprising I'm starting to get in some lower Batmans, and um, that one's going to be pretty pricey. Uh, 186, which is a pretty cool cover of the Joker. Um, it's also a Murphy Anderson Joker cover, and it's the first uh, gaggy Joker, who is pretty much like the Joker's Robin. Um, love that cover. I'm also working on a, another project. Some of the best Joker covers in my collection. I put out part one. And I'm going to keep adding more Joker covers as they come along. I did have a very nice um, Joker cover I picked up recently from Brixton Comics. And the under... Well, I'm just going to tell you. It's issue 145, I believe. Amazing Joker cover. Got a great deal on it. And uh, waiting to pick that one up. But that's going to be a fine addition to the collection. But so is this from Pope of Chillingtown. Another book I picked up from Pope of Chili Town, and it'll be the last Batman book of the haul. This is Batman issue number 183. Again, that's the Batcave, so that part of my Batman project, I'm happy to add that, but this is also the second appearance of Poison Ivy. So, now I have her second appearance. Yes, that means I'm going to be working on getting Poison Ivy's first appearance. Bit of a pricey book, even for lower grade. Um, you can go out and buy a. You can go out and buy a. And here's the thing: I would want to get all of the first appearances slapped. I can go out and buy a, a zero point no point five CGC for under like two hundred and fifty bucks. That's probably because most copies now do not have the pin up. There's a nice pin up of Batman and Robin in there that usually a lot of people when that comic first came out tore out, put on the wall. So, <coughs> excuse me, you don't see too many. But that's okay. I'll have to work on that. That is going to be a nice project, you know, a nice book to eventually get on. But her second full appearance, why not? 
Um, this is, you know, mid-grade. He actually had a lower copy, but I decided to get this because he had a 20% off sale. So happy to have that. And then the last book, um, probably the book that I would say maybe has the most significant value right now and a nice modern age. And I actually think it might, it might have been the only real modern age book. Um, Infinite Crisis, number five. First full Jamie Rays as Blue Beetle in the costume. Guys, this thing is near mint. I mean, this is probably going to be ascending in the future. Now, the Blue Beetle film has happened. Um, I did not see it yet. I've heard some, I've heard decent things about it. I've heard people talk about, you know, not liking it. Um, I plan on watching it myself, hopefully in the next few weeks. Um, this is a book that you probably wanted to pick up about a year or two ago. Uh, and this is actually a book that I'm pretty sure at one point was under probably 20 bucks or so. And, um... Earlier in the year, I went to a convention, and I actually found this book, and it wasn't even marked. And I asked the guy, I said, hey, what are you selling this for? He's like, well, I have to look up prices. I'm not doing that. But I got a good deal uh, from Pope of Chili Town on this book. Um, I actually think I paid a little bit under, I think it's like the high right now for a raw new mint. It's like 50, 60 bucks. I think I paid a little bit under the value of that. Um, but... That is it for my haul today from Brixton Comics and Pope of Chili Town. Two great guys that I just, you know, I love buying from. They always have great books and the prices are always great. You will not find these books at a comic book shop. Like the value of the comic book shops, they're always going to go for fair market value or above. These guys, they, you know... They got to make their money, but they sell books very, very, in my opinion, great. Uh, I mean, you always get a good deal on stuff. So I highly recommend you check out both of them. Uh, Brixton Comics usually does uh, a one claim sale a week now on Thursday nights at 9 o'clock. But go follow him on Instagram so that way you can get notified. And then Pope of Chili Town also does usually Friday nights. Who will jump in after 360 Comics and do a claim sale. Or who might do once in a while, do one on, one on his own. Uh, but still, two great guys, two great community members selling great books. Um, and yeah, so that is it for today's haul. Guys, do me a favor. If you've liked this video, if you like the books, hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. It helps out. And uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is a nice haul. Uh, I have some big keys, obviously, and we're not done. Like I said, I have <laughs> 360 comics. I have a stack from him right here, and I have, uh, actually, if you guys can kind of see this. Yeah, right up here that I'm moving. Those are books from him as well. Um, those are actually some nice keys in there I picked up from a, uh, he's doing a $1 sale, so I'm going to add that in. But guys, I, I got, I mean, here, like, I got some nice Silver Age stuff in here. Uh, again, modern, like, I got some great stuff. So, that is it, like I said, for today's haul video. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Stay safe, take care of each other, and as always, we will see you in the next episode of Josh's Comics.